group number one welcome welcome to your reading i hope you guys are doing well so let's see what is your next chapter this is all about your next phase your next cycle we're gonna do a little shuffle of your deck here Ooh, intuition seeing number 29 as well right on the intuition energy so definitely for you guys group number one your next phase is something that you're being intuitively guided towards i definitely get an energy here of you listening to your intuition and following your truth following your north node energy i'm definitely seeing as well there's a lot of advancements and a lot of uh, synchronicity that you're seeing right now in this present moment that's leading you to where you're currently going. I definitely see a deeper level of trust in your intuition and how you intuitively feel and where you're intuitively being called and maybe beforehand uh, or in this present moment I feel like there's a lesson or a cycle uh, repeating for you or something that needs to be learned in regards to following your truth and listening to your intuition more so than a lot of outside factors outside opinions or even outside confirmations i really see you guys reclaiming your uh truth reclaiming your power and a big big part of that is coming from you not listening to others outside of you or others around you it feels like you could be really um, looking for outside validation in a sense where maybe it is something where you're looking for outside outside validation um, trying to like prove yourself prove your worth and that's coming from a jaded sense of intuition but also you're um, looking for outside validation or confirmation when you should just be listening to your intuition where you're being intuitively guided so you guys could even maybe find that there's a struggle here or there's a resistance when it comes to receiving messages or to receiving confirmations in your physical reality because at this time you're really really being called to go within to listen to your intuition and listen to where you're intuitively feeling called what your intuition is telling you and that intuition is really coming from a sense of self-trust and self-belief it's not necessarily coming from anything outside of you or seeing something um as proof but you're needing to recognize that proof that proof is within yourself okay or the proof is the self um so there's a deeper level of trust i want to say in yourself and your beliefs i'm getting for some of you guys maybe as well you're kind of living a life or you're doing things to really like appease others like maybe you have a parent that's really significant in your life and this parent really sees you um they have like a significant role or something that they really dedicated their life to and maybe you're kind of feeling pulled in that direction as well um you're feeling called to like go in that same path in some sort of way but that's maybe not what your intuition is telling you as much as maybe that need to prove yourself or you know just um conform in certain ways and it doesn't have to be necessarily it doesn't have to be inherently negative either and that can kind of be like the trick of the mind as well is realizing what it is that you truly want versus what is it that maybe you're doing just to like make others around you happy how are you kind of people pleasing to the extent of not even allowing yourself to do what you truly want or you truly desire and i feel like for a lot of you guys there's something that you are pursuing right now that is kind of more so based in um trying to like help others around you or trying to like appease others around you or benefit those around you um, but you're not realizing that it's not actually like what you truly desire or your intuition is leading you in a different direction um, but you could be a humanitarian as well and maybe there's something here where you're not recognizing that you can stay in your truth you can stay in your authenticity you can even you know help those around you or benefit the world around you um, or even like make people proud but do it in your own way like living your truth so I'm definitely seeing the next phase for you guys is an energy here where you're listening to what you want and not what others may want for you okay yeah trust I see you guys trusting here 
trusting in the divine, trust in, trusting in where you're being divinely guided, where you're being divinely led. Uh, definitely a level of self-trust here as well, because notice how in the trust card, this really gives me an imagery of someone meditating and they're connecting more with their highest self or their truest essence, their truest spirit. So as you begin to really trust yourself, you're going to find that it's very, very easy for you to trust your intuition and the path that you're moving towards. Surrender to the divine here. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of things that you guys are surrendering here. You're surrendering to the divine. I feel like you're surrendering to the divine calling of your life. I feel like there's been this calling. There's been this intuitive pool that you've been feeling for so long, but uh, maybe there's a lot of perceived limitations or a lot of um, blockages or a lot of, you know, obligations that you may feel. I just heard like family ties and different things like this that makes you feel like you can't fully surrender to the divine, like it feels almost unrealistic or impossible for you to really stand in that energy fully without feeling like your foundation is shaking as a result. So the next phase for you is this new level of surrender, this crown third eye activation here where you're really surrendering to the divine and you're really, really living in that flow state here and you're being divinely guided. I just uh, transported as well. I'm seeing a plan. I'm seeing someone packing their bag. So some of you guys could even feel called in this next phase in your journey, maybe to uh, travel abroad or do something that has to do with you really getting out of your comfort zone in a really, really big way. So you're even challenging yourself. And the reason that you're able to do this, the reason you have the capacity to do this is because you're surrendering those fears, those worries, those doubts, those things that make you want to kind of go back and... Um, retreat into what you're used to or what you're familiar with Ooh, you have the eighth house here so eighth house energy 888 this is all about mystery intrigue uh there's definitely scorpio energy here coming through so i'm seeing you guys becoming more connected with your own shadow self as well you're getting more in tune with those darker energies those darker frequencies right uh, we can be told to like raise your vibration or and different things like this like I feel like that's a very big thing in terms of like new age spirituality and I don't know why I feel like the need to like tell this to you guys or like bring this up so maybe there is something here where it's like you're releasing maybe beliefs that have kind of been programmed to you um, that aren't necessarily like based on truth but uh, it's kind of like that toxic um, positivity, which I don't even really like that phrase necessarily because positivity and is never toxic, um, but it can become toxic if it's something that makes you feel shameful for having other emotions besides happiness and joy here. And so I feel like there's an alchemization of that energy uh, where you're recognizing that maybe you don't have to be perfect or you don't always have to be you know, joyful, if that's the right word. You don't always have to be, you know, joyous and like, giggly and happy like of course that's an energy that i would say we all want to resonate in right the energy of gratitude happiness oneness joy that's what we're really aiming for but we have to appreciate every emotion that the human condition comes with so i'm getting this acceptance here this acceptance of all of your emotions rather than maybe shaming certain emotions or feeling like some emotions are more valid than others and um with that vib vibration energy here it's not always necessary it's not always necessarily good to raise your vibration because sometimes that can come with you attuning to certain frequencies that actually makes you feel more like out of sorts or more connected to certain technologies that actually don't serve your highest and greatest good so i'm seeing here that you're recognizing it's okay to exist in lower vibrations and lower energies that lower vibration doesn't directly cor correlate to depression sadness anger right there's a sense of acceptance of every phase every aspect of the self and because of that there's a lack of um energetic displacement or soul fragmentation because you're not resonating with one part of yourself but then when you're in another part of yourself you feel like you're not you or you feel like that's not valid or you feel like that's wrong it's like this acceptance for every version of yourself honoring yourself in each phase and this is a very big transformation for you this is a very big progress forward here the queen of elf may magic and beauty yeah number 29 so definitely for you guys group number one i feel like there is this physical glow up coming in and 
I'm really seeing it's because you're accepting like everything about yourself and you're not feeling like oh you need to change anything about yourself I'm even getting like maybe the way that you're dressing or looking is going to change or shift but it's almost like it's becoming more natural right maybe you um and this isn't you know this isn't in judgment or to say that one is better than the other but this is just an example right maybe you are a natural redhead with brown eyes um and you have this like natural beauty but maybe you've been bleaching your hair blonde and wearing green contacts or you know whatever the case is and dressing in a certain way but it's like you're maybe gonna stop dyeing your hair, you're gonna stop putting in the contacts and you're going to connect more with your true beauty, your natural beauty, and as a result, you're actually gonna be feeling even more magical because authenticity is truly the most beautiful energy there is, is authentic self-expression. So I'm seeing a really, really big transformation for you guys, but it's almost like you're not going through processes or procedures to like make yourself look better or like changing the way you look. Ooh. Do you guys hear that? That could be a confirmation. <laughs> um, changing the way you look, it's almost like you're you're stopping that. Like maybe you're not wearing makeup or if you have like implants or you got surgery, once again, no judgment, do what's best for you. But it's like maybe you're taking those implants out or you're reversing the surgery, different things like this where you're coming back to your natural beauty, your natural look. Um, and this is actually the next phase for you is almost like going back and recognizing the ways that maybe you've been damaging your hair, or like damaging your skin or different things like this in order to appease some sort of beauty standard, which it's almost like this beauty standard or this um, transformation or the energy that you've been putting in, like the extra effort you've been putting in to shift your appearance or the way that you look or the way that you're perceived, maybe the way that you like come across, it actually is making you... Um, I don't know, I want to say it's making you look worse, but that's just for like a lack of a better phrasing. But I'm just saying the next phase for you is almost like going backwards from what you've been doing for so long to change the way you look. And you're actually going to be finding how beautiful or how radiant you truly are when you kind of step out of that energy instead. Um, and you just go back to your like natural state. We the Hawthors, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Yeah, you guys are birthing a lot of creations here, and I definitely see a lot of opportunities for change, and I'm seeing your angels, your ancestors supporting you through this. Let us live since we must die. So this card talks about really seizing the moment and appreciating what you have in this lifetime rather than letting things, you know, kind of pass by, you know, really living your life, living your youth. So the next phase for you guys, I definitely get more of an adventurous energy and adventurous spirit. The things that you've been holding yourself back from doing for so long because you've been trying to maybe help everyone else around you or make everyone else comfortable. It's like now you're actually living for you. You're I just heard live and let live as well. So oh. Ooh, the three of cups. I feel like there could be some like throat chakra blockages as well. Maybe some like fear of speaking your truth is significant. And that's something very, very big. I feel like there's celebration energy coming in for you guys. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to leave that cough there. <laughs> um, but yeah, your throat chakra needs to be healed, I want to say. Um, but definitely there's a lot of celebration happening for you guys with the Three of Cups. And I'm definitely seeing here that you are going to be attracting a lot of positive friendships. But overall, I feel like you're going to be feeling uplifted because I'm getting the energy from group number one that you guys really uplift those around you. But you need to as well allow yourself to be uplifted. So the next phase for you is where you're also feeling uplifted as well um, by those around you. The muse here. The most powerful muse of all is our inner child. Yeah, so you guys, in terms of your creativity or your creative self-expression, I'm seeing that you could definitely be connecting more with your inner child and drawing inspiration from that as well. You guys are becoming powerful manis manifestors because you're choosing yourself. Yeah, you've been frustrated in relationships. You've been feeling like you're not enough. And that's because you were being of service, but you weren't receiving anything back. So the next phase for you is feeling like you're getting back the energy that you've been putting out, the energy that you've given to situations and peoples and things that maybe necessarily didn't deserve it or just weren't reciprocating in the same way. Um, 
there's healing here, there's healing here, but I feel like you guys are natural heal healers. You have this healing energy, you have this ability to help those and really, really empathize, I want to say, really, really connect with people at a on a deeper level. And now it's like you're becoming more empowered in that energy. It's like stepping out of the wounded healer and the wounded healer can be signified or symbolized by a healer who is really healing everyone around them, but it's more so taking away from them. Maybe you're surrounded by a lot of energy vampires or you're tending to attract narcissists or people that just want to take, take, take versus becoming the empowered healer where now you recognize that you have this healing energy, you have this healing ability, but you know how to protect it. You're not just giving it away. You're not just allowing it to be taken from you. Um, yeah, change. Wow. So talk about change, right? This reading is all about the changes coming towards you. So definitely a lot of shifts for you guys. I think I see things looking a lot differently for you in, in the near future. Fallen leaves do not signify the end, but the beginning of a fruitful season. So yeah, the next phase for you guys, there may be a lot of endings, but overall I'm seeing that, wow, <laughs> overall I'm seeing that um, every ending is bringing a lot of new beginnings for you guys. And look at this confirmation, right? The throat chakra. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing for you guys, group number one, this is the group where you're really standing up for yourself in a new way. You're speaking up for yourself and you're no longer holding back. You're no longer eating your words. Um, and it's a very, very powerful transformation. So that's what I have for you, group number one. <laughs> um, definitely let me know how that resonated with you. Comment down below, like, share, subscribe for more content. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, check out my website. Much love. Namaste. Hello, hello, beautiful group number two. I hope you're doing amazingly well. Welcome to your reading. This is all about your next phase. So we're going to give your deck a little shuffle. Oops. One's already falling out. What's the next phase for group number two? I bow at my own feet. Thank you. <laughs> so this card is all about self-appreciation, self-love, and self-gratitude. So I'm seeing the next phase for you guys is definitely a newfound appreciation and acceptance for self. Maybe you've really been struggling with a lot of um, self-hatred, self-blame, or feeling like certain things were your fault or you should have done things differently. And different energies kind of around that. I'm seeing for you, there's definitely a renewal or a shift where you're actually recognizing, you know, your own growth, your own transformation, what it is that you've accomplished that's gotten you to where you are right now. And I feel like with this newfound self-love and this newfound self-appreciation, uh, there's a releasing of maybe um, high hierarchy or a comparison or feeling as though others are better than you or more than you or... Like, you, you're not good enough in certain ways. I'm definitely seeing for you guys um, the releasing of energies around feeling like you don't measure up or you're not good enough for, for something or towards something. So I'm even getting something specific for you guys, group number two, where uh, maybe some of you have been wanting to pursue something, wanting to do something, but maybe you just feel like you're not good enough or you're not talented enough or there's too much competition in a certain field. And I'm getting the next phase for you guys is this new level of realization where you're recognizing here, um, where you're recognizing that that isn't necessarily the truth, that although others have gifts and others have talents and others have, you know, things to offer, that doesn't negate or take away from yours or what it is that you have to offer, what it is that you have to share. So you're now moving into this phase where those limiting beliefs or that, that self-doubt or that insecurity, it's almost like insecurity is gonna feel foreign to you. Like it's gonna feel um, weird or strange to even be insecure, to even doubt yourself. Maybe you are really, really like used to being in that energy, but the next phase for you, it's feeling so empowered and it's really coming from self-love and just recognizing that you got you where you are right now no one has you like you have you right you're really really leaning on yourself in a really really big way and it truly is a very powerful transformation here okay this energy is going to allow you to propel forward and it's going to allow you to take action without feeling like there's so much weight behind that action right 
releasing the negativity because if you have a goal and you have a dream or you have a passion when you think of all the details and logistics or what could go wrong or you know how you're not good enough or whatever the case is it really takes away from the positive energy from the happiness right from just the pure you know heart activation from the gratitude and love in your heart or just that passion that excitement all of that energy really takes away from it and can even cause you to be kind of paralyzed and you're not even taking action anymore so i see a releasing here of this dense energy um and it's very very powerful for you guys begin again begin again it's time to stop being so either or <laughs> me struggling to read my own handwriting <laughs> um it's time to stop being so either or just because you didn't start at the right time doesn't mean you should not start it off so yeah um it's okay to begin again it's okay to start again right sometimes it can be like if you um don't do something like once then you just like never want to do it again like something personally for me if i set a time for myself like okay at 7 a.m i'm gonna do this i'm gonna get this done but then it's like oh i missed 7 a.m okay i'll wait i'll wait till 8 a.m okay i didn't start at 8 a.m oh no it's 9 a.m okay i didn't start i didn't even start i didn't even bother so now i'm just gonna give up altogether i'll just save it for tomorrow or i just give up right <laughs> um it's kind of like that energy i want to say but even maybe at a bigger scale for you where it's like maybe you wanted to start something wanted to do something but it had a false start or it didn't play out all the way or it wasn't you know exactly the way that you planned and so you kind of just gave up um all right this is what is being released for you i'm definitely seeing um i feel like the next phase for you guys is beginning something again that you previously had started you previously had tried but it didn't work out in some for some reason or um to some extent as well because it feels like maybe it did work out but you just never followed through uh, I'm seeing the number seven, 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 something that you've never allowed yourself to fully follow through. I feel like something's coming into fruition. And this is definitely an energy as well, where it could be telling you that maybe you're thinking about giving up. You're wondering, should I continue down this path? That could be a question in your mind. And this is a confirmation. Should I even bother or should I just stop? Because it feels like it's not working out. Things aren't going exactly the way I thought. Um, it feels, wow. And I just heard it feels like, as soon as everything um, starts to get really good, then something bad happens. So it could even be like a superstitious mentality or like a, a mindset where it's like, if everything is too good, you feel like suddenly something's going to go wrong. Or it feels like once everything's going well, of course, something goes wrong or something like this. There's an awareness that needs to be brought to a certain way that you have um, kind of internalized like a victim mindset or a victim mentality by certain things not working out or going in your favor, certain blockages being um, sent towards you. Because I'm even seeing these blockages showing up as divine roadblocks, like you're driving down the road and suddenly a tree falls like right in front of you. And this tree was actually a divine redirection because you could have maybe had a really bad accident if you kept going down that road or, um, I don't know, something like this here where you're not recognizing the divine intervention in something. So I feel like there's clarity, there's truth in that as well. The realization of why maybe things didn't exactly go your way in the way that you desired beforehand, but now how you're in the space, really, you're in the energetic space to receive, which before you could have brought something into fruition. Maybe it could have manifested, but it could have fallen through your footsteps because you didn't have the stable foundation. You didn't have this sense of self-respect, self-appreciation, self-reliance. But now that you're really grounded and rooted and centered in the self, this can manifest in a way that is very powerful and strong and long lasting as well. All right, and we have this card. Meditation isn't about quieting the mind, or meditation isn't about quieting the noise of the mind. Meditation is about reminding yourself that the noise isn't your identity, okay? So this message is all about recognizing that um, 
you're not your thoughts, right? You're the observer of them, of them. So when your thoughts start to feel overwhelming or when that energy really just wants to hold you back and keep you stagnant, you need to recognize that you are the one observing the thoughts and your thoughts are just trying to reveal to you, they're trying to teach you and they're also just trying to reveal to you what it is that you've been repeating, what it is that you've internalized over time. Our, th our thought forms really come from what we've experienced in our life and um, what we've been used to seeing and repeating cycles, even generational things as well. So I'm definitely getting a quieting of the noise in your mind, but it's like this acceptance, this peace that you're having here where you're not identifying with the thoughts in a way that's detrimental or even paralyzing, but you're actually recognizing what they're trying to reveal to you in terms of limiting beliefs or limitations that you could still be holding on to. Yeah, nothing will come of this situation. I do get this like dead end energy for you guys um, where you're recognizing or you were feeling like nothing is going to come of this situation. Nothing is going to manifest from this. This is a waste of my time. Something that feels very um, like null and void. And even when I'm getting that, I'm getting like the void state. This could also be a really big part of the lesson for you guys entering this next phase is being comfortable in the void state. The void state is a space of creation, but it's also a darkness, right? It's a dark energy. There's nothing for you to see. So it can bring up a lot of fear, but it's a very powerful space. There's infinite possibilities and opportunities for you within this space if you are not afraid of the dark. All right, so we have the 10th house reputation here. So some of you guys, you're getting fame, you're getting notoriety. Um, maybe there's like an album that you made or something like this, a song. I'm seeing for some of you guys a single that never really um, got a lot of attention, but suddenly it takes off. It feels like something like older, something that's been sitting around for a while. And then suddenly it starts like picking up and getting that for some of you guys. But there's definitely praise and recognition. I feel like your desired level of fame or your desired type of fame or just having enough, you know, um, like clientele or attention in a positive sense to propel you forward. So some of you guys, something that you want to pursue or something that you may want to do, it is going to bring a certain level of public recognition here. So there's a need for a deeper sense of self-confidence and really, really being grounded in yourself so that when you really step into this spotlight energy, there's nothing that can maybe disrupt your peace or your self-perception here because there's always outside opinion, right? People always have comments. Someone always has something to say. But when you're grounded and rooted in yourself, it doesn't matter what people have to say. It doesn't matter what people think about you because truthfully, who knows you the most? You. You're with yourself all the time. No matter, you know, you can be close with people, but at the end of the day, you spend the most time with yourself. You know who you are more than anyone, so it doesn't matter, you know, who people think you are, or what they think of you. And I feel like for the next phase of you, for the next phase for you guys, um, sorry I'm like losing my voice, I'm... <laughs> but for the next phase for you guys, it definitely is essential for you to not internalize things and so you're becoming very grounded and rooted in yourself to prepare for this to prepare to receive this recognition and i'm even seeing like backlash like negative backlash like um sometimes a negative aspect or result of fame or sharing your gifts and talents or being recognized for something getting praise and recognition can be like jealousy from those that maybe feel like they're not getting that right um and that jealousy can sometimes show up as people treating you like rudely or harshly in different ways and there's this need for you to be very sure of yourself very centered in yourself so that that energy doesn't disrupt you when you're able to see where someone is coming from or when you're able to see that the way people act or the way that someone's responding to you necessarily doesn't have anything to do with you or how they feel about you as much as it has to do with how they truly feel about themselves you're able to have that true internal peace and really just let that go it just bounces off of you and it doesn't even affect you because it's their projection and it's not yours to carry okay oh i remember the soul plan here i love this card so the fated life versus the destiny life i definitely see the next phase for you guys um 
you are creating the next phase you are creating the next stage so i'm definitely getting powerful manifester i feel like there's something you've been visualizing some of you guys i'm seeing like this i'm seeing like this crumbled piece of paper like a poster or something it's like this folded up poster that you've had since you were like four and it's like maybe um i don't know or there's like this old video of you like singing when you were three and you're like i'm gonna be the next r b artist or something like that it's like something that you've a, a close treasure that you've been holding to you holding with you for so long that represents what it is that you truly want to do and that answer is coming from your inner child from your most childlike self that didn't have as many fears worries restrictions um what they wanted what they wanted to pursue there's a re-tapping into that there's a re-tapping into that space that inspiration and also that optimism or that belief that belief in something even being possible it's like you've lost that belief over time and the next phase for you i'm definitely seeing a lot of abundance i see things getting very very big for you guys um yeah bigger and better it's like you're on to bigger you're on to better so very powerful here aromatherapy um choose a new direction yeah you guys are choosing a new direction here the king of pentacles yeah see i'm definitely getting this like prosperous energy for you guys the success you're making really big wavelengths you're listening to your senses you're listening to where you're being told leaving or traveling you guys could also be leaving certain things behind you're willing to let go you're willing to surrender um you're willing to move into your prosperity into your success here time embrace in the dew drops of time before the before they disappear with the morning sun so this is definitely telling you to not worry about time to surrender in divine timing know that time is not running out and that you haven't run out of time either twin flame energy here the answer you the answer to your question involves a spiritually based relationship wow so the next phase for you guys could definitely also be an energy of you aligning with soulmates some sort of divine counterpart that can even maybe be a part of this success that you're manifesting i'm definitely seeing soul tribe connections people that are really going to help you towards your goal and aspiration yeah the seven of pentacles you're making positive investments towards yourself and your future you're listening to your intuition you're being divinely guided the black cat could definitely be a symbol for you you have talking here so yeah, I'm really getting that you are um, discussing things. I want to say I'm definitely getting a really big like past life reunion coming through for some of you guys. A really big past life reconciliation where you're reconnecting with someone that you knew beforehand. And it's like you guys have this very powerful mission that you're meant to pursue together. But I really see you guys getting yourself out there, positive networking. And it's almost like your associations or the people that you're connecting with. It's going to be a really, really big part of your growth as well. So yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys. Group number two, definitely comment down below let me know how that resonated with you like share subscribe for more content and if you would like to book a personal reading with me check out my website down below many blessings namaste all right group number three welcome welcome to your meeting let's give your deck a little shuffle let's see what is your next phase what is the next chapter for you in your life candle illumination four 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 energy so definitely the next chapter, the next phase for you guys involves illumination of the soul, illumination of truth, truths being revealed, exposing of lies and deception. And I feel like this lies, this deception energy is coming from within and without. And I'm really noticing the peacock energy here. So I really get an energy of you standing very proudly standing very boldly in who you are and your approach as well um in your truth so i feel like the next phase for you guys is a sense of liberation maybe you've been misunderstood or you've been blamed or you've been gaslighted you've been scapegoated in a lot of ways and um maybe others haven't been seeing your truth i want to say or there's just been a lot of like karma being stacked up or maybe you're wondering if you ever will receive your justice or if your truth will ever be exposed or um, something like this. I'm seeing the next phase for you guys is 
feeling like you're no longer the martyr or you're no longer um like feeling misunderstood and i do see deception around you also being revealed and i feel like this could be about deceptive people that you have around you or situations or relationships or connections connections as well and i feel like this is really coming in for you guys so that you can move into the next chapter of your journey without dragging along that negative energy or that um those energies that are based in deception or falsehood so you guys could be having some really big towers in regards to realizing that maybe the things around you aren't exactly what they seem. <laughs> I'm hearing Wizards of Waverly Place, everything is not what it seems. <laughs> so it's definitely that type of energy here and maybe it is a bit shocking for you, but at the same time it feels like you already kind of knew you just needed to really have that kind of like showcased in a very obvious way where you can't doubt it or second guess it so i feel like for you guys group number three um maybe there's some relationships or some friendships that you're trying to be optimistic about or people that you're trying to give the benefit of the doubt to it's like maybe sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad or sometimes you know the connection's good but then other times it's very toxic and you kind of it's like this back and forth, this push and pull, this iffiness, this unsure energy. I'm seeing for you guys, there's a lot of clarity coming through where it's going to be very obvious and very clear. It's like I'm hearing listen, listen to people when they tell you how they truly feel about you or listen to people when they show you how they really feel. And I'm getting for you guys the next phase, it's going to be that type of energy where you're truly going to see people's true colors and it's going to make it easier for you to maybe detach and move on or recognize who should and shouldn't be with you as you move into the next chapter, okay? Yeah, healthy choices here making healthy choices and love and life self-love self-care being happier yeah the next phase for you guys is um self-love self-care making healthy choices cutting out those um toxic connections here listening to yourself listening to how you feel no longer allowing yourself to be emotionally manipulated or getting out of some sort of emotional manipulation that maybe is currently going on and it's not allowing you to see the truth of a situation here you have expect nothing appreciate everything so this card is all is uh trying to decide where to put it uh this card is all about expecting nothing and because of that you appreciate everything so wow you guys i'm almost getting like um standards like maybe your standards are kind of low or it's just like you I don't know, I kind of get like maybe you guys have kind of given up in a certain way or you just kind of have accepted that maybe things aren't meant to work out for you or maybe that like not a lot of big crazy things are coming in or this could even be signifying like peace or just acceptance really of everything around you and I feel like the next phase for you is blossoming abundance. I'm seeing flowers blooming, a lot of very powerful energy, things really blossoming in a new way and I feel like this comes after a period of maybe feeling kind of like trot down like um i'm seeing like a horse like feeling kind of like pushed around or like just really pushed down by life and it's kind of like you've gotten to this point where you just like you accept it you're like okay um all right you know it's like when you've been hurt so much that you almost become numb and I'm getting the next phase for you guys is like this reawakening of your emotions, of your feelings, of your sensitivity, really finding things in your life to feel more connected to, to feel more connected with, to feel more alive and grateful, I want to say. I feel like you're going to be feeling very appreciated and this is coming from you appreciating yourself and I feel like you're going to have to realize what and who you need to let go of and who you need to release and that may be a painful process, right? It may be a difficult energy to really tap into and I feel like it's definitely symbolizing empowerment for you guys. It's definitely symbolizing um, self-trust and self-love, but just because it's a powerful, positive shift for you, it doesn't necessarily make it easier. It doesn't necessarily mean that the shift or the transi transition is going to feel harmonious but overall it is leading you into a lot of calmer waters and as you enter these calmer waters you're going to be met with a cornucopia on the other side into the woods i go 
to lose my mind and find my soul. Yeah, so <laughs> I feel like you guys are reconnecting to nature. The next phase for you is reconnecting to your roots, but I do get this really big like purging energy before that comes in where you're going to have to purge all the things that have been disconnecting you from reality or your truth or disconnecting you from um, your roots, right? So I definitely see a lot of reconnection to earth, uh, feeling very grounded here. Yeah, grounded energy, healing of the divine masculine. Um, the five of pentacles. I feel like you, you've you been feeling left out in the cold. And the reason you've been feeling left out in the cold is because you have been sacrificing yourself um, to keep the peace, I want to say. And um, maybe there's wounds. There's like abandonment wounds as well, where the people that weren't supposed to really support you and be there for you abandoned you and neglected you and betrayed you um in your earlier years and so now as you evolve that's showing up in your later years where your relationships are kind of reflecting that same energy or you're attracted to the same types of people with those same like negative ooh, i just heard like microaggressions or um you intuitively can recognize the red flags but maybe not like consciously in certain ways um, and it's like you're kind of ignoring this, but it's also like what you're used to as well. And this is something that happens a lot uh, in our life based on traumas is that in our earlier years, the traumas that you experienced and went through, when you're older, it's now a source of comfort or familiarity where now you're unconsciously attracting those same relationships or going towards those same types of connections. So you're recognizing this pattern and you're breaking the cycle confidence is your key to success i feel like you guys are going to find a lot of success i'm seeing career success maybe some sort of promotion in your career or some sort of upgrade as well that's coming from you just feeling more confident and more empowered and more worthy i'm also getting ask ask for it like some someone may be wanting to ask for a raise or someone may be wanting to like ask for more like something like this i feel like yes um the next phase for you is having the confidence to do that, to approach things, to know what you want and not be afraid to stand boldly and ask for it. Yeah, loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. I feel like the next phase for you guys is breaking out of toxic cycles, toxic chains, no longer feeling wound or bounded or binded to things outside of you here. Reading here, I see you gaining knowledge, gaining wisdom here gaining insight <laughs> yeah yes so some of you guys could have a specific question i feel like your angels are saying yes but i'm also just getting like yes 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 like say yes the next phase for you guys there's going to be a lot of opportunities or a lot of questions or a lot of things presented to you and it's like you can either say yes or no and i'm really seeing that your angels are encouraging you to say yes more to new opportunities to new things even things that you may be unsure about say yes i feel like the potential the opportunities are limitless for you if you just are open to them you have idle, idle hours here take some time out to lie on the emerald grass <laughs> so yeah um i feel like there's more time for you to rest as well um Maybe there's a lot of like overextension for you guys, feeling overextended, like you don't have enough time and space for yourself or energy for yourself. I definitely get an energy here of like reclaiming that or um, not feeling as weighed down by just so much outside stress. It's like you could be maybe giving so many favors to others or just everyone's expecting so much from you and different things like this and i feel like a lot of this energy is coming through the reason it's so taxing for you is because it was coming from it was going towards people that didn't necessarily deserve it or people that were taking from you or it was coming from manipulation and i'm seeing as you release this energy you're going to have more energy for peace solitude think doing things that you love exploring your passions exploring your creativity there's more time for you in this next phase of your journey where you're not just doing things for others all the time you actually have time for yourself to be idle to rest to be present in the moment really sagittarius voyager so some of you guys can be traveling the horse here the horse symbolizes freedom i definitely get freedom energy for you guys yeah singing and dancing 
I see you guys singing, I see you guys dancing, I see you guys feeling more free overall in your energy, manifestation power. And there is this big solar plexus activation that's happening for you guys where I'm seeing that you are feeling more confident and more empowered. And as a result, your manifestation abilities are definitely increasing as well. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys, group number three. Um, definitely comment down below. Let me know how that resonated with you. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, check out my website, which will be linked down below. Like, share, subscribe for more content. Many blessings. Namaste.